Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A drunk tourist has been arrested after stealing a bulldozer and flipping it down a quarry in Majorca. Police have arrested a 26-year-old German man following the incident in the party resort of Serenal, near the island's capital Palma, on Sunday. The idiotic 26-year-old cheated death after overturning the 25-ton, 350,000 euros, 295,000 pounds, vehicle on the edge of a steep drop at the quarry he broke into near his hotel. He was held after running to a nearby house covered in blood to seek help. The quarry owners say the bulldozer is a write-off and are pressing charges against the holidaymaker, who now faces a criminal probe and a huge compensation bill. Police sources said today he was lucky to be alive as it overturned right by a 30-foot drop. The shocking incident comes off the back of recent reports that Germans are now the most troublesome tourists in Majorca, overtaking badly behaving Brits in Magaluf. The privately owned quarry had been shut since 1 p.m. the previous day. It is not yet clear what the unnamed German was trying to do with the bulldozer, a W270 Fiat Hitachi although well-placed sources said they suspected he might have been intending to drive it back to his hotel as a joke. Officers said they were unable to confirm local reports the holidaymaker was drunk when he pulled off his crazy stunt, although well-placed sources on the island said he was under the influence of alcohol at the time. A spokesman for the National Police in Majorca said, National police officers in Palma have detained a 26-year-old German for entering a quarry and driving a bulldozer he ended up overturning causing considerable damage to it and suffering injuries himself. The incident happened around 7.30 p.m. on Sunday in Playa de Palma. The man who ended up being arrested went to a private home for help saying he'd jumped over the quarry perimeter fence and taken the bulldozer before crashing it. The quarry owner was also in that property when the police arrived and responded by calling for an ambulance so they could tend to the injured tourist before he was arrested. The firm the heavy machinery belonged to says it is going to have to buy a replacement, and the cost of it being out of service has been put at around 10,000 euros, 8,500 pounds, a day. A fuel leak caused by the crash also had to be cleaned up. One insider said, whatever the tourist was intending to do, it's going to cost him a small fortune. The German has already appeared before a judge, although it was not immediately clear today what the outcome had been. It comes after eight stag do Brits were arrested over a punch-up on a beach in Majorca late last month, were ordered to hand over £850 each to recover their passports. Brit groom Connor Lorimer, 29, was arrested alongside seven of his pals during his stag do after the celebration turned into a violent punch-up that left bar staff and cops injured. They spent two nights in a police cell with six friends before being bailed by a judge and told to fork out almost £1,000 to recover their passports. The Spanish government has some strict rules in place for those visiting Majorca, Menorca and Ibiza. Certain restaurants have dress codes, banning tops without straps, swimwear or football kits. Holidaymakers can also be fined for walking around topless or in a state of undress while not on the beach. You could even get into trouble for driving topless. At some hotels, men might have to wear proper trousers for dinner. Authorities in Majorca are cracking down on tourists by imposing fresh bans on drinking on the streets and graffiti. Any tourist breaching the new rules could be slapped with a fine of £1,300. The penalty can be increased up to £2,600 in case the grounds of the offence are more serious. Fines for graffiti, vandalism and loud slogans have also been increased to £2,600. If minors are found to commit graffiti vandalism, their parents will be held responsible and will be forced to pay the fine. Flooding the streets with banners, posters and advertising brochures is now prohibited. Destroying listed buildings, monuments, and other important public areas would be considered a serious offense and could attract fines of up to £2,600. The investigation into the May 29th incident at upmarket Balneario Alitas Beach Club a short drive from Palma is continuing. Two German tourists have already fallen to their deaths so far th.